Hi, my name is Stephanie Stillo, and we are back for another segment of From the Vaults. So today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite artists in the Aramount Library by the name of Georges Rouault, specifically his book, Circus of the Shooting Star, or Shooting Star Circus, that was published in 1938. Before we get too far into uh, the circus, we want to acknowledge this beautiful binding uh, by Parisian binder Paul Bonnet. Uh, so it's a beautiful sunburst binding that has these incredible vibrant colors which very much match the colors that are in Rouault's circus. So the first thing that you notice when you open Rouault's Cirque uh, is these brightly colored costumes and characters. So Rouault had one of the most iconic styles of the 20th century. So he trained as a painter of stained glass windows. Uh, and you can see both in his painting and his print work uh, that he creates uh, these binding dark lines uh, for all of his characters, very much characteristic of his early training with leaded glass. So the dominant technique that Ruo used to create the Cirque illustrations was called sugar lift aqua tinting. And the reason why he did this was because he wanted to create images uh, that looked like painting. So he wanted to create a print that looked like a painting. So how he did this was he created a key plate that was in black. You can always tell the key plate, one, because it's in black, but also because he signs them at the bottom. And then he would work with a printmaker to create several colored plates. So here we have the additional colored plate for the petite equestrian. So as you can see, when they all come together after layering, you have something that looks like watercolor or sometimes even oil painting. So Rouault was a deeply religious artist and he was very interested in medieval manuscripts uh, and early 15th century print. And you can see gestures to this in a great deal of his work, including Cirque. So for example, in the title pages, he uses this specific red because he said it was the red of old books. So Rouault envisioned a very close relationship between the text that he created and the images that were to accompany it. So he even provided a blueprint within the book to tell you where all of the images were supposed to reside. And he even included page numbers. Um, so he had a very specific idea of where he wanted his reader to encounter these very colorful images. And it's important to think of these things together because Rouault really conceived of this work as an entire piece of art. Upon reading the text and the illustrations together, we see that Rouault's interpretation of the circus isn't as celebratory as it seems. And context is important here. So Rouault was creating a Cirque in the 1930s, which was, of course, a time of great economic depression. And he wanted to use the backdrop of the circus as a way to talk about human fragility, suffering, and humanity. For Rouault, he found the circus a place of superficial happiness, where people's suffering was often obscured by colorful costumes and makeup. When we look at the text and the illustrations together, what we see is that we're actually witnessing these very quiet, intimate moments with many of Rouault's characters. So we see actors that are waiting to take the stage, or we see a clown putting on his makeup. One of the most uh, intimate images is of a mother checking on her child. And it's important to note that throughout all of his images that he created for Cirque, all of the characters are always in costume. And the reason why he does this is to make sure that you understand that their humanity transcends their very colorful costumes. One of my favorite images in Ruo's Cirque is the image of Carmencita. So Carmen Sita, you see here dressed in a very colorful costume. Uh, she looks like a flamenco dancer. She is very likely based on uh, a real dancer from uh, the same time period that Ruo very likely would have seen. 
Carmen Sita uh, as an image is fascinating because it's so bright and colorful, but she has this determined look of melancholy. And it's only when you read the text and image together that you understand what Ruo is trying to communicate. So the text where we encounter Carmen Sita, uh, she's talking about her four daughters uh, who are all performers within the circus. And she is concerned about their future, about their marriage prospects, about their life growing up in the circus. And so the text really transforms this image into one of a matriarch being very concerned about her family. And she comes off almost as regal. So as in all of Rue's work, we should view Cirque as a combination of sorrow and hope. And that's what he wanted his viewers to get from this particular work. In his text, he talks about how at the end of the long road, Our Lady of the End of the Earth stretches out her arms. And specifically, he's talking about to the demoralized and to the disheartened. Thank you for joining us for another segment of From the Vaults in the Rare Books and Special Collections Division. I do hope you will join us again to explore more treasures in the Airmount Library and other books in the Rare Books and Special Collections Division.